So to do a test of independence uh, using your Texas Instruments calculator, uh, we are going to need to use the matrix function. So to do that, here's a uh, graph of, uh, sorry, a, a matrix of uh, salaries depending on your uh, level of education. So we have uh, less than 30,000, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, and so on. Not a high school graduate, high school graduate, college graduate, and you know postgraduate, master's or doctorate degree. So we go into our graphing calculator and we're going to go to the matrix which is second matrix okay and I've already inputted this information just to make life easier and go a little faster but so we're going to go to the edit key and hit enter. Now notice here when we look at this we have a you know, four columns and five rows so in our matrix um, formula we have to put the rows first so we have a five row by four column matrix and so we put that information in and you just type in the number and hit enter as you go along and it will put in that information and fill it in all the way for you okay but I've already done all that so now that we have our matrix we just quit so I can quit and now we're gonna go to do our statistics so that's all we need to do is just put in this one graph it will take care of the other distribution expected values for us. So we go to statistics and we go over to tests and we come all the way down to chi-square test and hit enter. And now notice it asks where are our observed and where are our expected. Well observed values are in matrix A and matrix B is going to be where the expected values are. We don't have them it will do the calculations for us. So enter, enter and we hit calculate and hit enter and it gives us a value. It gives us our chi-squared uh, test statistic as well as our p-value. And here notice our p-value is really, 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 really small <laughs> with the degrees of freedom of 12. Well we got that by doing columns minus 1 times rows minus 1. So we have a 4, we have 5 rows, so we have n minus 1 is 4. We have 4 columns, that's minus 1 is 3, 4 times 3 is 12. Now, we want to see the other matrix. We go back to our matrices and notice now number B, matrix B has some information. If we go down to B and hit enter, it's already put, it actually put in all the expected values. And remember, we were told the every cell has to be bigger than 5 for this to be a, a test. And notice we can look through and every cell is bigger than 5, including the ones that had 0 here and the one that had 2. So this actually filled in and we had different expected values and what uh, we had expected values different and larger than five so this test is valid and that just tells us that these are independent that's all it tells us every cell is independent um, variables and that that that's it so that's all we've done is just prove that this has independence and that's how we use our Texas instruments to do this test